Hello friends and welcome to the video tutorial of UV Desk. So now in this video tutorial we will be talking about the Form Builder app and that is an app provided by the UV Desk. So now let's see what is Form Builder. Form Builder app allows the user to merge the default label and custom label together of any contact or any kind of form and create a new form as per your requirement. The user can embed the code easily into the HTML codes of their website and then this app will work seamlessly. You can add as many new labels in the form, in the custom form which you will create. The user can manage the form easily when any user will enter data in the form and then they will submit the form then a new ticket will be created in the UV disk and then the agents can reply back to the query asked on the form so let's see how you can start working with this app so first you have to go to app and then all apps then you can see form builder so from here you can click on view and then you can see the overview of this form builder you can see why form builder is important for receiving notification when someone fills out the form so each time any user will fill the form so you will be notified via your email for browsing threads in single place and see them clearly so when the ticket will be created and when the reply will go from the agent and then the customer if he is not satisfied he will again revert back so you can search any particular string in that particular communication easily over the ticket system one can embed web forms without having prior knowledge of coding so you can create the form and then you will get a form like a code and then you can just paste that code into your html of your website and then the form is ready so no prior knowledge of coding is required to develop this custom form and the fourth one is you can make the appearance of the form much more appealing so you can add different type of, type of labels uh, as per your requirement so now in this instruction tab so you can see form builder app makes use of ticket custom field to modify ticket custom field you have to visit to ticket custom field so this is the basic info go to installed app section click configure button for form builder in the create form you can see the steps to create a form and this is the embed code after clicking get embed code module pop up will open containing the embed code so now first we will go to our ticket custom fields So now from here you can remove, first I will show you, you can drag the type of field which you need in your form. Suppose I have already added radio custom field, then I have selected a drop down one, I have selected the custom box, that is the check box. So now if I want I can add this date field over here. And then I can set its name and it will be displayed on the contact form. You can select the user type. It will be for customer or agent or for both. So you can see the placeholder in which number do you want to place this particular field. And then you can set its status and if it is required then a mandatory sign like this will come for this field. So you can click here if you want this particular mandatory sign for this custom label and then you can save from here you can also switch the position from here by dragging it so like this you can control and add custom field now i will go to app and then form builder then again the same page will open So you can see name, from, type, subject, reply. These are the few label. And if you want, you can also select these or you can unselect them. 
and you can enter the name from here contact form and then you can save it now after saving you just click here then you can click on the preview form and then you can see how the form will be displayed to the customer so you can see the customer name email id type from this is your drop down subject and message so now this is the get embedded code so just click here so you will be getting the code sjs version iframe version and this is the public url so you can also give the url of your form directly if anyone asks like if you are in any conversation and if any customer or if any of your colleague they ask for this url so that they can fill then you can just copy it and you can paste on your browser tab or you can just click here and then you can see this page so you can see the page so you can enter your message your subject the type of query email and customer name so again going back so what you have to do you have to copy it from here and then you have to paste it in the HTML of your website and then on the front end you can see the contact form or any kind of form which you want to create now let's move to the customer panel and see how they can use this particular form and how a ticket is created now for example this is the site you can go to the contact us and then you can see the contact us form and it has been developed by form builder so you will enter your name peter to you will enter your email id you can select the type of query from here so i can select magento i can select any one of them so I have my subject and I can copy the same and now I can submit this form So after submitting you will be seen you have successfully created a ticket and this is your id so now let's move to the agent panel and see the ticket which has been generated just now now you can see the same ticket id 16543 16543 you can see the subject regarding the form builder and this was a message regarding the form builder and test so from here you can send back the reply and then it will go back and a notification will go to this peter.do at webpool.com if you have any doubt regarding this app you can just raise a support ticket or you can directly mail us at support at uvtest.com thank you for watching this video tutorial have a nice day